Hi everyone, so today we have decided that we're going to talk about boys and the common types we've come across. Do we have to talk about boys? I much prefer men. And the common types we have come across. Buoys. Oh, Buoys, the Americans call them. Boys, B U O Y S. Um, it's something that's coming up in the Up Master. We've had people ask us to do an extra on this, so we're doing it today, and this is it. And for this extra, we're going to use these little cards that we found on board the boat. Uh, which are flip cards, um, and we'll put a link uh, to the flip cards um, down in the description below. Yeah. But what they are is they've got a boy on the front and they've got the sort of things you need to know about it on the back. So for training purposes, you can see how this would be useful. So what we're going to do is we're going to have like a, a little mini quiz sort of thing. <laughs> and we're just going to go over these with the ones that we see all the time and that we use all the time. And then we're going to go progressively to the ones we see less and less and then there are one or two that we think we should have come across, but we actually haven't. So we're going to put those in last. So um, the first type uh, we're going to talk about are red and green boys. Uh, these are the ones that we see all the time to mark channels. So where have we seen some good boys, Bev? Um, <laughs> everywhere we've gone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there was ones you marked up on the chart when we were going in and out of Oban because they put new ones down. And Gainer had to mark the chart up for that. And you can see it here in this little sequence. And um, these are obviously just channel markers. And the only tricky thing about the channel markers is which direction you're going. Um, because obviously you can have red on one side and green on the other, depending which direction you're going. But the rule of thumb is when you're returning to port, you have the red on your left and you have the green on your right. So when you're coming into a harbour or a port, that's the direction of voyage. And it's usually marked on charts with a big arrow that looks like this one. Uh, that is only true for area A. Uh, if you're in America, it's actually the opposite way around. Okay. One point about this is the voyage we are discussing is IALA Region A Voyage. And it basically covers the entire world except the Americas, Japan and the Philippines. Uh, they use a different system, type B. Uh, in which the um, reds and greens are the opposite sides, aren't they? Yes, they, the, the ships stay on the same side, cones on the right, cans on the left, but they're green and red is the other way around from us. But because we sail where we sail in Europe and the UK and places like that, we are sticking with the Isla I Boy series, so we're on type A, region A, which is what these cards are. Yeah. The red ones are on your port side. Port is a red wine, so... <laughs> I works. like the fact that it's a red wine. <laughs> okay, so uh, red is on our port side. Lucky for you, lucky for you that it wasn't Shiraz. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, uh, you have a variety of different shapes and the cards really do show um, the different shapes. Um, and you have red cans and green cones. The only issue that you can have is that um, when we were going into Campbelltown, the, I really did complain about the fact that the cans were not canny enough. They, they were too cone-like. Yes, your cans look quite, they're quite, quite slow, quite slow sides on them, didn't they? Yeah, so... And um, the painter faded rather badly. By the way, I'll just apologise for the racket in the background. That's the wind and the ropes creaking. It's a 4647 gale outside today, which is why we're filming inside. So um, this is Storm Cara, Storm Cara, Storm yeah. but anyway, it's predicted to be 4.7 or 4.8, so it could get a bit bouncy, which is why the hats are moving on the bulkhead. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we've got the uh, green cones uh, and the light system, Beverly, are you going to tell us about the lights? What, were the, what, what did we find out about the lights? Oh, the, light, the flash pattern on these can be any pattern at all, except two flashes plus one flash. So that would be flash, flash flash, that sort of grouping, 
Uh, they can have anything except that. The colour, obviously, is green or red. Or red. As appropriate. As appropriate. So they're the ones that come, you come into um, uh, all the time. Yeah. The next lot are, are cardinals. And you see these quite a bit as well. So, uh, Beverly, tell us about the um, uh, your how you basically the arrows and the yellow and black. Right, cardinals have arrows on them. As you see, this is a south cardinal because the arrows point down, and um, this is a north cardinal because the arrows point up. Now they're also painted yellow and black, and the east and west cardinals are good examples of that. Um, so what I often do, people say, well, how do you remember which bit's yellow and which bit's black? And the answer is, look at the arrows. The arrows point to the black. So in this one here, the two arrows point inward, so the black's in the middle. On the easterly cardinal, the two arrows point outward, so the black's at the edges. On the south cardinal, all the arrows point down, so the black is at the bottom. And on the north cardinal, the arrows point to the top, so the black colouring is at the top. Now one other thing you can do with cardinals, I just move them out of the way and go for these ones, mm -hmm. um, is you can arrange them either in a compass, like that. So what you've got is north, east, south and west. Okay? Um, and as you can see in north the arrows point up, in south the arrows point down. Uh, on east it makes an easter egg shape, work with me on this, and in the West, they point together and they make a wasp waisted woman shape. W, get it. Um, so that's ways to remember it. Now, at night, you can't see these because it's dark, obviously. Um, so they flash. And the way to remember the pattern with the flashes is that they work on a clock face. So it's not a compass face in the, in the night time, it's a clock face. This is the north one, so it flashes continuously at the top. It goes flash, 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 and it's a white flash, and they're equally distant from each other. This one is the east cardinal, and this is a clock face now, so this is three o'clock. So it flashes three times. It goes flash, 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 and then you see nothing for a while, and then it's flash, flash, flash. The south cardinal flashes six times, because it's six o'clock on the clock face. Um, so you get six white flashes. These are all white, by the way. So you get six white flashes, then you get a pause. If this is near a west cardinal, they'll sometimes put a long flash after it, so you'll get six flashes and then a long flash after it. And the reason for that is a west cardinal here at nine o'clock has nine flashes. So if you only caught out of the corner of your eye the last six flashes from a west cardinal and there was a south somewhere near it, you might think you'd seen the south because you missed the first three. But in that situation they tend to put a long flash on so that you get six flashes on a log. So you didn't see it, you'd have to watch. But so that's continuous flashing. Three flashes at three o'clock, six flashes at six o'clock, nine flashes at nine o'clock. And that's the way to remember your cardinals at night. And it doesn't matter whether they're stick cardinals like these or big floating gantry ones like these, it's all the same. The only uh, issue I've ever really had uh, with um, recognising the cardinals is once I was looking at a south cardinal and uh, I could see the yellow quite clearly, I could see the black quite clearly, but then it was resting on a white concrete block so from a distance what we saw was light, dark, light. And we couldn't make out the top mark too well because it's whatever bird's sitting on it or something. Uh, so what we saw was light, dark, light. So it looked like we had a West Cardinal on our hands. And this, we, weren't, we weren't expecting to see one. But this is where um, we use the charts to get other information. And then when we got closer, we did realise, you know, it was a South and it was just concrete. So that's just something to be aware of. Yeah. Um, the next lot of boys that we're going to talk about, which we've seen quite a lot of, are fairway boys. Uh, now you get a lot of these in like Queen's Channel, there's a couple of uh, fairway boys. Generally you get them at the end of a channel, don't you? Yep, you've um, got one here at um, in Belfast Lock. There's one at the end of the Conway Channel. And what's the light pattern on those, Bev? Complicated would be the quick word, because it's actually written on the back. 
and um, I'm just reading it to make sure that I'm getting it right here. It says, white light, either occulting or isophase, single long flash every 10 seconds, or it could be the Morse letter for A, which is a long and a short. Now, uh, occulting and isophase, um, a flash is a flash. It is what it is. It's bright and it's dark for quite a while. Occulting is the other way about. It's white for quite a while, or whatever colour it happens to be, and then it goes dark for a little bit. Isophase is equally light, equally dark, equally light, equally dark. So a um, North Cardinal, I think, it goes down as a, uh, it just says white light, quick flash. Yeah. yeah. Um, but they're quite distinctive. They've got a big red knob on top, and they're big red and white stripes, so they do tend to stand out. Although I must say that from a distance on a sunny day, and if the light conditions are right, all these things look black. It doesn't matter what they are, they all look black. Yeah, because um, especially when you've got a lot of sea sparkle, uh -huh. uh, it's very difficult to see. Just to skip ahead slightly, this little devil, red and black markings on it. You get the wrong day, that just looks black. <laughs> yeah, and especially if you um, know somebody who's colour blind, um, that red and the black just uh, completely and utterly uh, merges in. Yeah. And even with somebody who isn't colour blind, okay. it still looks pretty black. Well, if a cardinal can look black with the yellow stripes on it. Yeah, it, it can, you know, they just get dirty. Yeah. Okie dokie, so these um, next set we're going to talk about are special markers. Now, the light on this is really easy, it's yellow. Um, and it's a, a yellow light, any. Can't read. Oh, dearie me. Never mind the colour blind, the blind can't read. Right. <laughs> Yellow light, any rhythm. Any rhythm which is not used for a white light. So the white lights were covered are the fairways and the cardinals. So any rhythm other than what they have. So that's three flashes, six flashes, nine flashes, continuous flash, or the Morse code letter A. These kind of any pattern other than those, God knows how anyone's going to remember that, but there you have it. Uh, yeah, but they are yellow light. That's the biggie. <laughs> it's yellow. <laughs> um, so um, we've seen quite a few uh, special markers, and where we've seen them mostly used is the end of pipes. So if you have a long pipe coming out into the um, uh, gas pipes as well, or... Oh, tell it like it is. Sewage. Stay well away from them. Sewage. Yeah, okay. Well, it's sewage pipes. So basically, pipes coming out, that is where you're going to find your special markers. So, uh, the other thing about special markers is they all have a really nice big X on the top. So they are very different from any of the other markers. Okay. But we have got, you know, but we have seen them and they're usually at the end of pipes. <laughs> um, so, you know, that's where they are. So always make sure that you go to seaward of them mm -hmm. because the pipe will be from the land to, to the, mark. the mark. And you've got no idea how far below the surface the pipe is, you just don't know. You just don't know. So always go on the outside of those um, to seaward. Um, there was one in Conway I did think about cutting in because it was a horrible night, but no, I went seaward of it. Yeah, it's always wise. <sighs> then we've got some isolated danger marks. Um, I put one of these in the back of her coat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair enough. I'll shoot she's, de her. she's definitely an isolated danger mark. <laughs> I'll shoot her later, don't worry. <laughs> right, go on. Um, these have got two balls at the uh, top of the marks. Um, and they are red and black. And as Beverly has already alluded to, they are really difficult to judge on the colour if it wasn't for the two balls because we've seen these um, going into Port Ellen, Campbelltown. Campbelltown and a few other places not as often as the other marks we've talked about uh, and uh, these flash at all oh, right yes the flashes they are white flashes but they come in groups of two which is probably because they have two balls on top okay so it'll be flash 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 yeah flash flash i presume so <laughs> right so they always are in groups of two. two 
And this comes to our last lot of um, marks, which um, I have never seen in the wild. Yep. Uh, there was a little island uh, going up to Oban, which would have been a very good one to have uh, this mark because it had two channels around the island and one of them could have been preferred. Yeah. So tell us about these, Bev. Right, these are your preferred channel marks. And they are a bit backwards in my opinion, but I can understand why they do it. So that one, as you can see, is mostly green with a bit of red in the middle. You know, and it's cone shaped. But go by the shape. It's cone shaped. It's meant to be on your starboard side because when you're going into port, cones are to starboard. So this is where it gets a bit peculiar. Because it's a, got the stripe and it's cone shaped, this means the preferred channel is on your left. So you think green being a right hand marker, you go to the right, but you don't, you go to the opposite. So the marker stays on your right. So a green preferred channel mark means take the left hand channel and a port handed red mark means take the right hand channel. So that basically when you're going down the channel, you have these and here, here's your coming up. So you have the cone on your right or you would have the red on your left depending which channel you were going on. So if I was coming up to a channel here and I saw this boy, it would be telling me keep the cone as normal on your right and go up here. So even though it's a green one, you've got the left hand channel. So you can think about it backwards, mostly green go left, mostly red go right and um, that, that will keep you straight on it. But we've never seen them in the wild. If I had this one as I was approaching, if I was coming up and saw that, I would keep the red can on my left hand side to port so although it's mostly red I've got the right hand channel. Mm. Peculiar but I can see why they do it. It just seems counterintuitive. And this is one of the reasons that um, on the other boys uh, you can't have two flashes followed by one because these markers are two, Always flashes, two flashes followed by right, one, one flash. flash. So it'll be flash 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 sort of thing. Yeah. So um, I'll just have a see if there's a difference between the two colours. No, it's a, this one has a red light, that one has a green light. Oh, okay, so uh, basically this is the uh, green light and that one's a red, but it's always two flashes followed by one, which is why when you have um, channel, you, markers. channel markers, it's only ever, um, it's just green and you can have any sequence of lights apart from two plus one. Right, well that's loads. Well, that, that has covered all this lot. Um, so the usual little thing applies. If you have any questions, leave them below in the comments. We'll do our best to answer them. And feel free to like, share, and if you haven't subscribed, why not? We will be putting more of these Yacht Master things up and they will be mostly unannounced on Facebook groups and things like that because they are specials. Uh, we're leaving the up to YouTube to announce them through the YouTube mechanism and really the only way that works for people is if you're subscribed. Yeah, we're keeping the uh, ma our main Thursday videos to... The main Thursday videos? Yeah, whatever that is. We might have some Yacht Mastery bits in it, but it just depends. But it we does. won't have anything like this. Right. I'm just going to go and check that I am actually in the shot because I've just got this horrible feeling of sitting too far back. Yeah.